of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Let us now acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. At this point, we will now light the fourth candle of our Advent wreath. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we through the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord 
in the majestic name of the Lord, his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. 
Then I said, as it is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, my God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delight in it. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He take away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant lived in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we are approaching Christmas, the last Sunday before Christmas, our hearts are full of the yearning and waiting for Christmas. For others, this is the stress moment, you know, the last dash to go and mail your Christmas cards, to make sure you bought all your gifts, and rush on your shopping lists to be able to make sure that you do your Christmas grocery shopping but you're gonna decide what to prepare for Christmas on the get-together this is a stressful time but it's good that you're here at church so that at least I want you to take away all that concern now forget about it don't think about the cards yet. Think about it after. But then now, just stay put. There is the beauty 
in pausing for a moment to just concentrate and think about what is really the reason for the season. It is the Christ. We're all waiting for Christ. It's almost there. It's close. It's almost there. But we look at the decorations, we see the festive spirit already. We hear the Christmas carols. But when we look at the crash on the side, there's the beautiful manger with no Jesus. Not yet. It's beautiful, but it is not what it is without Jesus there. It's just a beautiful decor. But with no Jesus, you know, it's, it's not complete. It is not complete. We are waiting for that blessing. When you look at all the readings that we have today, something that just strikes a good note. And that is so inspiring and uplifting too. Because in the first reading of today, in the book of Micah, we are told about the promise that to you, Bethlehem, a king will arise. You know, Bethlehem is a tiny town. It's one of those towns that you wouldn't even put in the map. Remember in the Gospel about Nazareth, Nathaniel, when, when one of the disciples were talking to Nathaniel, said, we found the Messiah. He's from Nazareth. And then they say, oh, is there anything good that have come out of Nazareth? That's like Bethlehem. Bethlehem is that town. It's so small. Nothing good can come out of it in the eyes of the people. It's small. It's nothing. But then the Lord looked at their lowliness and told them, from you, Someone great can come out of your town. True enough, David. David is from Bethlehem. A great king that ushered the golden age of Israel. And from David's stock came Jesus, our Savior. So from that lowly town comes greatness. And how the gospel? When you look at the gospel, there are two prominent women in the story. Mary and Elizabeth. Mary, a girl of an unknown background to everyone. Not coming from a noble stock, not from a true blue royal family. A very simple girl called by God to an angel. And now Elizabeth, an old lady, a lady who is barren. In the eyes of the community, she is barren because God has not blessed her. There's always the association of birth, giving birth, having more children as being blessed. If one has no children, ergo, one is cursed. One must have done something wrong that one did not deserve a blessing from God. So she was also looked down by people. So two women, a girl and a barren woman. But to them, they were blessed. As Elizabeth said, you are full of grace among women. Mary is full of grace. Selected from among many, who would have been thinking and aspiring to become the mother of God, the mother of the Messiah. But among all the many choices, she was picked of humble beginnings. And Elizabeth was given the chance to be a mother, but not only a mother, but to be the mother of John the Baptist. So Jesus has described that no one would ever compare to the blessing that John the Baptist has received to be the forerunner of the Messiah. So you see this? Blessing is given to the lowly. The lowly receives blessing. Isn't that inspiring? Us who are lowly, us who have nothing, us who are weak, 
us who are sinners. We are old and feeble. We are weak. We have said goodbye to our youth. Us are lonely. And to us, blessings are given. But Mary, who was blessed, did a very, very normal way of reaction to a blessing. She shared her blessing right away. Because as St. Luke has pointed out and described it, she went in haste, going to her cousin Elizabeth, after she knew that she is pregnant and on her sixth month. She did not delay a single second, but she ran in haste. And she was not gradually running in haste. She was joyful. Anyone who is blessed is always joyful. Only if that person who is blessed recognized that the blessing that she has received is freely given as a gift coming from God. Only when one recognizes the giftedness that they have received, they are not deserving of it because they have nothing. And now they have something. And therefore they went and shared that gift to others. In this Christmas season, as you look at the Nativity here in the church and in your own homes, always look at the gift that is being given to each one of us as a blessing. And once you have recognized that blessing, how God gave you the gift, the second reading said, obedience. Obedience is important because it is an act of belief, knowing that you have given a gift. Your life, your faith, everything that you have is a gift. Believe that God has loved you, that He gave His only Son to the world so that we may have life to the fullest. That is a gift. And now that you believe in that, share. Share your belief to others in the world. Most especially those who are fearful of the things that are going on around them, as fear is fed by more fear and threat to harm each person on earth. Yeah. Each one is feeling the pain, the pain of being afraid. Share your hope to them. For those who are weak in body, share your strength with them. For those who are losing hope in their lives because of the many challenges that they have, uplift their spirit by your own hope, by your own strong faith. If someone is struggling with sinfulness and can get rid of their own sinfulness, Lighten their day. Give them the fire of hope by challenging them, by assisting them to get out of that sinful cycle and be able to walk back in righteousness. There are many things we can do in the world to enlighten them, to brighten, and to encourage. Let us become married to them. You know? They say the poor, because of their lowliness, are generous. True enough, true enough. You always feel that sincerity in someone who has nothing and learns how to give because of their lives. I see that in the life of a soon-to-be saint, Mother Teresa of Kolkata. In her nothingness, she left her family behind in Albania and went to a country that she doesn't even know of, India. She was cloistered to a comfortable life in the Loreto convent. But you know what? He saw the poverty all around her and because of her own emptiness, she was uneasy 
what she did was something novel. She said, I cannot live here in the security of the walls of this convent and outside, I'm seeing the poor, the destitute, the dying on the streets. That is not the way we live our faith. When we see every suffering around us and we do nothing about it. But look at the expression of poverty that's, that Mother Teresa have shown. What she did, she went out of her comfort zone, she lived with the poor. She gave everything she got. She gave everything she got. Intense love it is that drove her to live the life of a poor person. You can be like that too. We can all be like that. When we try to get off of our own selfish needs and look beyond our own needs and see others in their own poverty and share their life, in our own challenges, in our own difficulties, when we carry it all ourselves, then we become poor. And when you become poor, then you will be generous. It is that irony. People who have sometimes say, you know, we give a lot, but actually you don't. Because as long as you are attached to the worldly things of the world, of your own relationships, of your own life, then you are never rich in God's kingdom. You will always be remain attached and slaved to the attachments of the world. Reflect on the life of Mother Teresa. She is obedient. At the same time, she gave her life to show mercy as truly a grace that everyone deserves to have. Peace to Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who be the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. As children of God, let us bring our needs and the needs of the world to Him, trusting in His power and love. That the church, the body of Christ, may continue courageously, continue to courageously spread the message of the gospel and the mysteries of faith to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the world may be a safer place for all children, and that as we prepare to celebrate Christ's birth, we may be reminded that every child is a gift from God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who are alone or grieving at this time of year may be consoled by the evidence of God's love for them through the compassion of their brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all of us here may be blessed as we reach out to others in love and generosity to manifest Christ's presence in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
that our catechumens and candidates will prepare their hearts for the Lord's coming by diligent prayer, study, and works of charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our nation may heed the gospel call to reform our lives by ending the practices of abortion, euthanasia, and capital punishment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who have died may come to see God face to face in heaven, especially Pete Fabian, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, giver of all good things, hear our petitions and provide for our needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our gift bearers today are Clara and Maria Ramos, and the second collection today is for the music industry. Please join now in singing number 263, Hail Mary, Gentle Woman. Number 263. Yes. 
sisters of my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as you filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the articles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember P, Fabian, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord. 
Our communion is number 101. The King shall come when morning dawns. Number 
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's Nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kindly open the inside back cover of your music hymnal to pray the prayer Anima Christi. So the Christ sanctified me, body of Christ saved me, blood of Christ inebriated me, water from the side of Christ washed me, passion of Christ strengthened me. O good Jesus, hear me, within your wounds conceal me. Do not permit me to depart from you, from the evil of all protect me. I now have my death call me, and may me come to you to praise you all your saints forever and ever. Amen. Can you be seated for a few announcements? After Mass today will be our annual Catholic Appeal Dinner and Silent Auction. Uh, it will be at the Social Hall if you're still interested to join us to raise funds for our Catholic Appeal. Uh, you may go to the social hall after Mass today. And you also have our sign-up sheets for the Extraordinary Ministers uh, of the Eucharist and also leaders and other servers for the Christmas service. If you are available, kindly check at our ministry room and, and sign up for all of those available slots for those times. And our Christmas Novena Mass is, is going on every morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, we have our Mass again tomorrow and then until the 24th of December. So if you haven't done and experienced one of those, you are most invited to come in and join. And we would like also to invite the families to bring in at least uh, one per family, one ornament per family to hang on our Christmas trees outside and our various Christmas tree. 
I think that's all our announcements for today. May I request our communion ministers to the sick to come forward. My dear brother and sisters, you are sent from this assembly to bring the word of God and the bread of life to the sick and homebound. Assure them of the prayers and support of this community and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And our vocations, crucifix, will be given to Natalie Demers. Natalie and her family will be praying for vocations to the priesthood, permanent diaconate, and for those who are studying the seminary, and also for married couples. May your prayers be a fruit. Thank you, Natalie. Please step for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And now let us join in singing number 96, People Look East. Number 96. Mm -hmm. 